y is less than 2x plus 1, y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 3. Going ahead and starting out with the first inequality, y is less than 2x plus 1. Finding my boundary line, the corresponding linear equation, y equals 2x plus 1. Here, the y-intercept is 1, the slope is 2. So increasing y by 2, increasing x by 1. And continuing on. Checking back and seeing that I need a dashed line because this is a strict inequality. So graphing out this line with a dashed line. So this line will not be part of the solution set, the points on the line. Second inequality, y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 3. Linear equation, y equals 2x plus 3. I'm going to go ahead and graph this out. And this tells me that the y-intercept here is 3. And the slope is 2. Increase x by, or y by 2, increase x by 1. Or decrease y by 2, decrease x by 1, and so on. So this is going to give me another line right next to this one. But this time, I'm actually going to use a, po a uh, solid line. So this is a solid line because this is greater than or equal to. Now, let's look at some test points for each. So for this first one, let's use a test point of 0, 0, right here for this line, and substitute in. 0 is less than 2 times 0 plus 1. That gives me 0, zero is less than 0 plus 1, or 0 is less than 1, and that is true. So I've got this as part of my solution set right here. So it's the lower half plane. So I found the solution set for this inequality. For this one, I'm also going to use 0, 0. That's well away from that line. That's a good test point. Substitute in. 0 is greater than or equal to 2 times 0 plus 3. 0 is greater than or equal to 0 plus 3. 0 is greater than or equal to 3. That is not true. So for this line, 0, 0 is not part of the solution set. So it's the upper half plane. Now, a little tough to draw, but if you look here, one thing that you'll see is that these lines have the same slope. Because of that, I know that these are parallel lines. So I know these two lines are parallel and that they will never intersect. Since the points are all below this parallel line in that half plane and above this line, that's parallel to it. These solution sets are never going to intersect. In this case, the solution is the empty set. There are no points in common since these are parallel lines. That concludes this session on solving systems of inequalities by graphing at educator.com. See you again.